Thank you. 
Hello all, looks like we've made it to another day. <laughs> Here we are at the house and we're going to look at the hookups to make this Lenzi frequency converter type EVF9326-EV run a motor. Now I have two power supplies. This is power supply one and this is power supply two. These are external power supplies sitting on your bench. Power supply one provides the 24 volts and ground for the control input. Power supply two and ground two provide the 10 volt speed reference to increase or decrease the RPM run of the motor. Plus 24 volts DC to terminal 28 and ground terminal 39 of X5 enable that drive. If you do not have plus 24 volts on 28 reference to 39, ground on 39, that drive will not run. So once you have that drive enabled, you can close the clockwise input to E1 supplying 24 volts to E1 and that drive will run clockwise. Open up that switch to E1 and close the switch to E2 and that drive will run counterclockwise. Now every now and then, not always, but every now and then, we have a drive that when you power it up, it will display EER trip on the Lenzi panel. If you see EER trip on your panel when you apply 380 volts AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3, or 400 volts, or 460 volts, or 480 volts, AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3, and you see EER trip, jump E4 to plus 24 volts DC. Now these other two inputs, they're programmable. So if you see EER trip and you close E4 to plus 24 volts DC and EER trip still is displayed on your 
Lengi panel, try jumping E5 to 24 or E3 to 24. At some point, you will find the correct connection to clear EER trip. Now down here is the speed reference. I had a 10 kilo ohm multi-turn potentiometer for the speed reference. Uh, one wing of that potentiometer tied to plus 10 volts DC of power supply number two. The other wing of that potentiometer tied to ground, uh, this is of the second power supply, ground two, and also X6 terminal two. The wiper of that 10 kilo ohm potentiometer tied to terminal one. So we close either the clockwise or the counterclockwise switch, and then we rotate that potentiometer to increase or decrease the speed. This X5, I never connect to it. And this X6, I never connect to that either. These connections are on the left side of the drive. If we were to look straight into the drive as it hangs on the wall, these connections are on the left side and these connections are on the right side. Now let's go down and we'll look at the line connections and the motor connections. Now the data plate of the drive says that the L1, L2, and L3 connections to the power plant are 400 volt slash 480 volt three phase. That's 400 volt AC three phase and 480 volts AC three phase. I applied 380 volts AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3 and that drive powered up good. Here on U, V, and W, the motor connections, I used a Baldor 1.5 horsepower scroll cage induction motor connected to U, V, and W. Very simple connections for the line in and the motor out. Be very, very pleased, be very careful around these connections right here that's a that's a lot of energy it'll light you up if you get across these connections right here be very careful I'd like you to come back and be able to watch another video that I make so don't don't get across them high voltages right there it ain't it ain't uh, it ain't nothing to play around with y'all know that already I don't need to be saying that <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, folks. Sun's going down. Got to get up. Go back to work when the sun comes up. So, y'all have a good day. I'm glad y'all stopped over to see what we is working on next. Enjoy the day. We'll see you next time.